What do you think of that one? Looks juicy. Welcome back to another video of Smith's Fishing Outdoors. And today, we're going to go over TR Custom Topwaters. We have Tim and Michelle. They're the people that make the baits. And what? let's let's go through how you tune the baits and how you run them. Okay. So certain baits, when they get hit by a fish, especially creepers and globes, uh, stuff can get knocked out of whack. Yep. And when you're tuning a creeper especially, everything has to be perfectly symmetrical with the cup of the wing and the upward sweeping angle of the wing. So let's just clip this on and I'll, um, I'm going to untune a bait and you'll see how it works. See how it's limping to one side and it's lost that flop because that one wing is out of tune. And that happens in the net and everything. Yeah, when a fish eats it, these, they'll pull them back. You can see this has more cup on this side than this side. And a little goes a long way. You just eye it up. Too much. Too much. When they just plow like that, you have too much cup. Like I see, a little goes a long way. You don't need a pliers, you just use your fingers. Use the pliers, it will crease the metal. Oh, that made a big difference. Perfect. It was a very small adjustment. And this is our solid body creeper. Nice. Frog color for those big frog patterns. So we're gonna go through all the baits that he made. There's our jointed creeper. Check out those new TR custom eyes. Look oh, at that. Those That's are cool. Sweet. Those and are we'll sweet. Throw this guy in the water. And it features a hand cut brass blade on the back. You can hear that tick. Or that and you get the knocking of the body pieces together. Uh, we're best known for our flap tails. This is our bullet flap tail. Features a empty rifle cartridge in the tail end. Mm -hmm. And our own uh, blade that I've designed, we have manufactured. It's our proprietary blade. It's got a unique sound. It does. And the nice thing about our blade, most just have a cup. Ours, you can adjust the, uh, the angle of those folds. And you can adjust the sound of the bait. Let's see how that sounds. That sounds great. And we also, this features the spreader wire. This guy is no spreader wire. Just two five aught trebles. Fisher was throwing this one I this was morning. That. that actually looks really good. It gets a nice belly, belly roll and wobble. Look at that wobble. Oh. Like that. That is sweet. Okay. Uh, we're also known for our globes, featuring a hand cut brass blade, 35 thousandths brass. Loose screw attachments for a lot of chatter. Basement build custom baits are always so much fun because they just. Chatter on that thing is crazy. So our globes are all hand turned. Uh, the hook hanger is attached to the through wire. You can get them with a square tubing or a round tubing. Changes the sound of the bait. Which one do you think is louder, square tubing or round tubing? I think the round tubing is louder but you get more of a chatter, a deeper chatter with the square tube. Um, and these are our turtle toppers. These have the aluminum delta blades. And this one has a hand cut brass blade with a brass bushing pressed in. Sounds similar to the old style 
Cisco Kid Topper let's, or let's see which one's sound let's see which way they sound different. Same body style, completely different sound. Toppers are the most underused top water bait out there. This this bait caught a 46 inch 30 pounder last week. And it missed two other big fish. So here you got the same body style, but with the brass hand cut blades. You see those bushings in there. Completely changes the sound of that bait. Just listen to that tick. That tick sounds really nice. I like that brass. You can hear that brass on brass. The nice. fish can actually feel that vibration. They hear it, but they feel it as yep. well. Yep, I like that. It's got a good body feel. It casts really nice compared to, say, you know, those little light little Cisco kits from the past. Mm -hmm. So every every bait is handmade by us. You know, they're made in our basement workshop, all hand painted. Uh, two coats of a. Uh, High tech epoxy, tail baits all get three coats. Here's our tail bait. This that, I was really impressed with. That was one of my favorite baits I was throwing this morning because that just sounded so nice. Yep. Let's hear, let's I hear can, this guy in the water. It's got a really big fat body. So it pushes away because the, the fish can feel when they're swim bladder and their lateral line. Oh, does that sound good? That just sounds great. You got five different noises going on at once. It's got, I like that hollow that it's got on it. It has kind of a whistle and to it. Click. You can hear that hum. And the whistle. Very wow. impressed with that one. As you can see, it pushes a nice wake. Yep. Fish are going to find it. Yep. They're going to find it. If they don't find it from the wake, they're nice to cast. Yeah, yep, and that's a good hooks, shrink good wrap hooks, in the back. Great hooks. Definitely a winner right there. These all all high quality components. Yep. And I was throwing that earlier and it just it ran perfectly. I really like that. You can go fast with that one. She never rolled yeah. either. Nope. That was a nice. That was great. And no musky roulette. Musky Correct. no musky roulette as you like to call it. Um uh, so you wanted to talk about some tuning? Globes are another bait that can get out of, uh, you know, the fish gets tangled up in the net and you want to have a slight downward angle from this cup. And that can totally change the sound of the bait too. Let's flatten that out. When you flatten it out, the head will spin a little faster. It doesn't make a lot of a chirp if it isn't. It's got a really chit 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 has more of a chatter now. Yep. When I flattened out the angle. And we tune every bait in house. I built a, a testing trough, a 10 foot testing trough in the basement. And every bait we ship, I have water test and I've tuned it. So now I increase that angle. Let's see what that did to the sound. Oh wow. More poop now. More of a poop and a little bit chatter. That'd be a nice night nice fishing bait. Yep. Nice and slow. And it's got that pop, pop, pop. And you can still hear that chatter. This is kind of like three sounds. It's got that chatter, it's got that poop. I'm a big believer in sound. Yeah, sound can make sound a big does difference. Work. Yeah, so if you're looking for something non-production, it's got its own unique sound, unique look. You can only get that from a custom bait. Awesome. Well, if you're look, if you like any of these baits, where where they can where can they find you? The best way to uh, get a hold of us is through Facebook, uh, trcustomlures.com or not com, trcustomlures. Uh, my wife takes care of that. I make the lures. She takes care of the business side. So if you're ever talking to us on Facebook. You're talking to her, so be nice. And we'll link it down in the comments. Link, how to get a hold of it. Link in the description. Yep. How to get a hold of them. Make sure to like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next adventure.